go, my friends. Mr. J and B Man here. Actually, in the B Man cave today. I you know it's B different. Cave. B cave. Uh, it sounds a little weird to say B cave. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know it's a little bit different background. You know, switch up some locations every now and then. Yeah, yeah nothing wrong with that. Uh, so today we're going to do a movie review again for you guys. This one is going to be on Warcraft. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, I used to play the game, so I know a little bit more about it. Uh, B-Man here, never played it. So you're going to get two good perspectives about it, yeah. I think. I just couldn't get into the RPG thing. Just, yeah. Yeah. For me, an RPG is a rocket. <laughs> so we have four different ratings. We have full price. The movie was great. Go see it right now. Really good. Uh, second one was half price matinee. Yeah, go a little bit early in the day, go on a Sunday. You or, know. or if you're in Tucson here, just go to Foothills. And... Yeah, <laughs> that's where we go. And uh, third was stream it. It, was, it wasn't the greatest, but you really want to watch it because you're interested in it. Just wait until you can stream it. And then fourth is Fantastic Four because it is absolutely garbage. And like I said, I'm a Warcraft fan, and you know I've, I've heard that the buzz on it, you know, critics are kind of downing it and saying it's not that great. Um, they they released it in China first; it made 60 million over there. So I mean, it couldn't be that bad. But you know what? You can't really rely on critics, right? I mean, yeah. every time I've ever gone to see a movie, a critic said it was bad, it ended up being good. Bad ever Superman? Oh, uh, maybe. No, they they, but, they, they they get bad, horrible reviews. But guys. some examples of movies that critics didn't like on opening weekend: Sixth Sense, Fight Club, Gladiator, Star Wars, Forrest Gump, all got bad reviews on their opening weekend. Now I'm not saying that Warcraft is in any means near any of those movies, especially not on the plane of Star Wars, in my opinion. But I still really, really like this movie. But to start off, I think we're going to do a non-gamer's point of view, just as like going into it, watching a movie. So what did you think about it? So coming into this as somebody that's never played the game at all, I'm still a big fan of fantasy movies. I love uh, Lord of the Rings and all those. And I uh, was really excited to see it. And it did not let me down at all. This movie was awesome. The characters in it were great. Um, the guy that was... Uh, was it Lorthon? Lorthon? The, the knight? Yeah. The Lothar? Knight. Lothar. Lothar. I'm a big Vikings fan, so I was absolutely excited to see him in that. Slaying, just like he does in the show, badass. Yeah. I, I really, really like this movie. I thought it was really well done. They did a lot of fan service in it. Um, there's little things in the background that I noticed that it's like, you know, if you're in a movie theater and you're there with another uh, Warcraft person, you're going to be like, oh, did you see that? Like, <laughs> you know? So it's like just little things like that. So if you guys are Warcraft fans or World of Warcraft fans, just pay attention. Little background stuff. If you are a fan, you'll recognize these little things. I thought the CGI was oh. probably the best CGI I've ever seen. For me, it was just like watching the uh, Avengers. Like, mm -hmm. these orcs looked exactly like the Hulk running around. <laughs> like, the CG was that good to where it looked so realistic that it was like, damn. Yeah, I mean, the main orc, I mean, they, they kind of open up, you know, no spoilers in this one, but they kind of open up um, on Jertan's face. You know, it's like the very first thing you see. And I was, I was telling my wife, I was like, his eyes look so realistic. And just like everything, like every, every other movie I've ever seen with orcs in it, you know, with CGI, they they look all rubbery, like you know, it's like yeah. it's weird. The the expression on their faces, I mean, you could really like you would feel when they felt. Uh, I, again, the CGI was just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it was really good. All right, so another one for me being a first time father. Um, me and my son, I like to get him and look at him and yell at him, and that was one of the things in this movie where. The um, Dartan had a little boy. Uh, his name was Goel. Goel. But it was just cool because uh, you see him, and uh, you only see him for a few parts in the movie. But it was one of my favorite parts, especially uh, you'll see like throughout the movie. But he just does this little rah thing. <laughs> I thought it was absolutely awesome. Yeah, the mom's like, "Ooh, he challenges you already." Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I mean, that was. Pretty... It was like one of the cute moments yeah. in there, you know. It's funny because like you know they're orcs, but at the same time the movie's like. I want to say humanizing them. I mean, you can relate to them. Yeah, they make, they make them a lot more relatable. I love the magic in this movie. Yeah, I thought the magic was some of the best I have ever seen. I mean, you have them drawing runes on the ground, and then like it lights up, and they have to like cast their spells by saying stuff. 
Um, they have their hands out like that, and you see like runes around their hand. I mean, I, I just thought it looked so, so good in this movie. Yeah, no, the magic was really cool, and one thing I liked was the how you could tell the difference between them. It was, it's not, well, I mean, I don't know, in other movies you really couldn't, but it was like one had like a green ore, and the other one had like a blue ore. Right. So, I mean, I thought that was really cool and how that plays out in the movie. Yeah, so, like the, so the blue magic is the, the good magic, and then the green magic was just kind of like what the movie's based around. It's called The Fell, and it just basically is like, makes people evil. You know, as far as like all the character development, uh, I didn't really care so much for the love story. There is kind of like a little bit of a love story that they're trying to portray. Um, I think the movie could have done without that, honestly. Because or I, a little bit more of it. Uh, maybe. I mean, I, I don't know. I just felt like, like, like it, it, was, didn't, it didn't need to be in there. Yeah, it was so minute that it really was like, okay, that was just, was that even like, a, they had this one moment, that's it. So the main antagonist is Goldon. He's the orc wizard. He's just like a bad guy. Um, he was actually, I think he looked really cool. I yeah. like the way he looked. Looks super evil. The king, um, King Lane, I, he sure. was he was okay. Yeah, from Preacher. Yeah, which if anybody watches the the show Preacher, which you should because it's badass and it's also comic book related. So the queen of this is Tula, and then the the king is Preacher. Yeah, Jesse. So it's like kind of like ah, you guys do so good nice on the TV connection show. There. <laughs> Go ahead and put you two in there, which I thought was pretty cool. My favorite character I think was uh, Cadgar, which is the young. Um, the the guardian in training basically. Uh, I thought every time he was in the movie, I thought he was awesome. I mean, I the magic, like I said, the magic again, but the magic that he did, um, just just like following him, like knowing that he was given to these people at six years old to start training. Um, yeah. I thought that was a cool thing. Again, I mean, all these characters you should know if you've done Warcraft. But again, like like him, he doesn't know all these characters. But um, and then there was Medivh. I think Medivh, the guy that played him, uh, I actually really liked it. You could never really tell like what he was thinking. Like you had a feeling yeah. that he was gonna be one way and he's like another, but then it's like I don't know and he even just... he, yeah, even like throughout yeah, all the way up to whatever happens, which we're not gonna get <laughs> It's like you never know what's going on. One uh kind of down thing that I would kinda say about this, just non spoiler is I didn't feel like it had enough action in it. Like, the fight scenes that were in it were badass, but I just felt like there wasn't enough of them. Like, you go into this expecting, for me, I went into this expecting it to be just one big-ass random, like, fight scene. And it did have a lot of good fight scenes in it. It just, it didn't have that... You expected more war and less yeah. craft? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so with that said, let's go ahead and get our ratings. What would you give it? I would definitely give it... I would probably go with uh, full price. Full price? Full price. That actually surprises me. Yeah. I was not sure if you were going to give it full price. I'm going full price too. I, again, I just, I love this movie. And the little things in it that you see uh, as a Warcraft fan, I think it was really well done. And I, like I said, the CGI, the magic, the story that they're starting to tell, I think is just all phenomenal. And I would pay full price for this. Yeah. I would, again and again, honestly. I, I, uh, yeah, I definitely would like to see this movie again. Yeah. I enjoyed it that much. So with that said, guys, when you choose to spend your hard-earned money, make sure you choose, choose smart. smart. Take it Take easy. Care.